Hello friends, this is Krista Elisha and I am coming to you today to give you a word for the week, just a prophetic word of encouragement, something that I feel that the Father is speaking to the Bride of Christ today. And um, so I was just praying and I heard the Holy Spirit download into my spirit 1 Peter 4. Specifically, I heard him say, count it not strange. And so I went to 1 Peter, or 1 Peter 4 and uh, verse 12, and it says in the Passion Translation, Beloved friends, if life gets extremely difficult with many tests, don't be bewildered as though something strange were overwhelming you. Instead, continue to rejoice for you in a measure have shared in the sufferings of the Anointed One so that you can share in the revelation of His glory and celebrate with even greater gladness. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you are greatly blessed because the Spirit of glory and power, who is the Spirit of God, rests upon you. And um, so just praying into this and asking the Lord for a greater revelation, you know, he took me back to some times in my past and even recently where um, I've ex experienced a great measure of suffering and of insults and having my name slandered for listening to Christ, for following his example, for speaking what he tells me to speak and refusing to back down or be intimidated. Um, and specifically a season before I started ministry, um, I remember I was in a, in a time of just intense prayer and fasting. And I, I knew that there was more to God than what I was experiencing. And I just had this longing and this hunger to experience more of him and to see more of his glory manifested. And as I was praying and weeping at the altar one day, I heard the voice of the Lord say, Krista, are you willing to suffer for my namesake? And I said, Lord, I'm willing to pay any cost. And I knew that I was about to enter a season of suffering. Now, what's interesting is that the suffering that I endured did not come the way that I expected it to come. In a lot of ways, it came through many trials and relationships and choosing to choose honor and uh, dignity and love above of dishonor, division, and disrespect and discord. It came by the way of, you know, many people that I loved betraying me, slandering me, speaking against me because of the anointing on my life. And I don't say that in a way that, you know, I'm, you know, bragging about myself. Uh, I say this with all humility. And um, the Lord taught me through that season that the best way to produce the likeness of Christ in our lives oftentimes comes through humbling experiences and in many ways will come through people, the people around us, even people that we love the most in our lives. You know, wherever there, you know, the Bible says in Proverbs that, you know, as iron sharpens iron, so does one friend sharpen another, right? And when iron is sharpening iron, they take the sword and they lay it on an anvil. And there is a process where the blacksmith takes that sword and rubs it across a rougher, or a rougher surface so that the blade can become smooth and it, be it can become sharp. And so wherever there is friction in our lives, wherever there is um, an area of our heart or of our ego that is trying to rise ourselves in a prideful way, 
or lord ourselves above our fellow man. Um, that is actually the Lord saying, hey, I want you to be conformed into my image. I want you to be sharpened by my word, by my spirit. Um, and I want this thing in your life to sharpen you and mold you into the weapon that I created you to be. You are supposed to look like me. Amen. Jesus, like the, the mark of a mature believer is that we would look like Christ. We were created to be image bearers. And so wherever we see, you know, Jesus, Jesus says that he only said and did what he saw his father say and do. And we have the word of God, the word of God, which is like a mirror. When we spend time reading the Bible, reading the words of Jesus, seeing how he walked, how he talked, how he engaged in relationships, and how he loved people, how everything he said went straight to the heart of the issue, how he was compassionate, and um, how uh, pride absolutely um, repulsed him, right? We, we have a amazing model to follow. We can look in this and this is our mirror to become more like Jesus, okay? Um, and whenever, this is the verse here that really, really encouraged me. And it is, if you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you are greatly blessed because the spirit of glory and power, who is the spirit of God, rests upon you. You know, Jesus said that uh, a servant was no greater than his master and that if they hated and despised him, then of course the world was going to hate and despise us, his followers and his disciples. So if you are a true disciple of Christ and you are being persecuted and insulted and mocked and slandered for his namesake, the Bible says that greatly are you blessed. And even more than that, this, this uh, word here, so it says, because the spirit of glory and power, glory and power, that can actually, the, the word glory there is translated into Shekinah. Many of us who have been in charismatic circles, um, in, in the body of Christ, we know the Shekinah glory. We've sung Shekinah glory come, right? Shekinah glory come. And the Shekinah glory is actually um, defined as the dwelling, the resting, the living among the very presence of Yahweh, of the Lord God Almighty. That is not just the full weight and the full measure and the full stature of God and his goodness, but it is his very presence, the manifestation of his presence living with you when you are willing to suffer for Christ's sake. Wow. Wow. That is absolutely encouraging to know that when we are in the midst of fiery trials, that the fire of God's presence, his glory is among us. Amen. And um, so I just wanted to bless you all today with this word to just let you know that we are in a season where, yes, we are facing many trials. And it seems like life can be very difficult, but in the midst of our trials, in the midst of our suffering, no matter what that looks like, we have this eternal hope that Christ Jesus, his manifest spirit is among us. And so regardless of what we are experiencing here in the natural, when we get our eyes off of these 
momentary, natural, uh, you know, situations and disturbances and problems and troubles. And we focus our gaze on Jesus Christ and on God our Father and the fact that we are encircled and we, we are a habitation of the Holy Spirit here on earth everything changes and we can begin to rejoice even greater. We can celebrate that God is among us. And if God is for us, then no one can be against us, friends. So I just want to bless you today to let you know that in your suffering, the Shekinah glory is with you. Don't back down. Continue continue to do what he says, to say what he says, especially in the times that we're in, and know that if you are suffering for his namesake, that the Shekinah glory is resting on your life. Amen. So Father, I just thank you so much for each person that is listening to me. God, I, I thank you that even in our trials and in our tests, we don't have to think that it's strange. God, we know that receiving Jesus as our Lord and Savior did not mean that life was going to be easy, but it does mean that the way that we look at life, the way that we get through our trials and our tests and our struggles looks different because we have you with us. And so, Jesus, I just thank you for your presence. I thank you that we get the high honor. Oh, it's such an honor, Jesus, to share in your sufferings for your namesake. Because as we suffer for you, we get to know you in a dimension that is greater than if our lives were perfect. Because, Jesus, you came and you suffered greatly for us and so lord i just pray right now that each one under the sound of my voice that is going through a fiery trial right now that is suffering and being persecuted and um, slandered uh, for your namesake god that they would even now begin to feel your shekinah glory around them that they would feel your glory in them that they would experience the manifestation of your glory and your goodness flowing from them into the world around them. And Father, um, I bless them. And I thank you that you are the firewall of protection around them and the glory in their midst. So Jesus, I seal this by your blood and for your namesake and for your honor and for your glory forever and ever. Amen and amen. Well, guys, I hope that this word blessed you, that it encouraged you. If it did, please share it with your friends so it will encourage others. Um, I know that this morning as the Lord was speaking these things to my heart, it was really encouraging me. Um, and it's so freeing to know that when uh, you're insulted for Christ's namesake, that you can literally laugh because you know that that means that you're blessed and that means that you look like Jesus and that means that you're really disrupting some demons because that's what Jesus did everywhere he went. So, um, wow, like, oh, that's just such good news. God is so good, guys. Um, yeah, so share this with your friends. Um, what did I have to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm so excited today. Speaking of the Shekinah glory, we just got our new, I just got my new glory carrier uh, hoodie in the mail. And so I'm showing it off. If you guys are interested in your own glory carrier hoodie, you can visit KristaElisha.com. I'll have that in the um, description on the video. Guys, I love you. I bless you all. Um, spend time in his presence today get away from all the distractions and all the garbage that's going on in the world and just focus your eyes on the beauty of jesus and let him recalibrate your heart okay i love you all god bless you and i will see you again soon